Thanks for joining us tonight. UW Madison workers are mourning the loss of one of their own. The university announced this evening a man who worked in custodial services at the university died from injuries he suffered over the weekend while on a job on a side street near Park Street. Amy Reed tells us what we know so far. Amy. According to an online obituary, Roberto Vergara was 75 years old. He leaves behind a wife, three kids, and five grandkids. And he'd worked at the UW for 10 years before this accident on Saturday. Early Saturday morning, the University of Wisconsin-Madison said Roberto Vergara was working near this construction site on Dayton Street when he fell, leaving his assigned building on Bernard Court and hit his head on the sidewalk. After being taken to the hospital, Vergara died from his injuries on Monday. The university said Vergara had worked for them in custodial services since 2009. We're all saddened to learn that Roberto passed away, University Vice Chancellor said in a statement. We're keeping his family, friends, and campus colleagues in our thoughts during this difficult time. The university couldn't answer further questions as to what Vergara was doing before the accident and what might have led to his fall. But the university said it is investigating the incident, working in coordination with the State Department of Safety and Professional Services, where they hope to learn the full extent of what happened. The university does not suspect foul play. They think this was just an accident. But we'll keep following that investigation and bring you updates as we learn more. In the meantime, the university has offered counseling to Vergara's coworkers and anyone else at the university who knew him. Amy, thank you.